Hi, and welcome to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Langford, and this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely love. And if not you, maybe we can help you find the wine that your beloved loves. Maybe we can get you brownie points. Anything we can do to help you, we will. Won't we, John? That's what we're aiming for, yeah, definitely. Um, especially in this episode, uh, in which we have a Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. Uh, and I think you said this was a taste the difference. It is. I, tested, I, know, I know John likes it. He likes oh, it. taste the difference. <laughs> told you, told you, likes it. <laughs> I knew we did. Uh, so, yeah, so let, let, let's get on with it. Let's have a taste. So this is Sainsbury's, because I mean, anyone that's... Uh, so uh, for those of you outside of uh, the UK, you may not be able to get this, but... Um, mm. Um, you know, it was one that was in the cupboard, so we thought we might as well uh, try it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Again, quite it's, deep. It's really deep. deep. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's got your. I'm getting. A, I'm getting the blue rim, but that's because I've got a blue light in yeah, the background. That, yeah, no, it's definitely nothing to do with that. No, there's no, no rim on there, unfortunately. Just, just as it comes. But it's not really deep. Burgundy, rich colour, looks looks appealing, you know, um, that that kind of style. So let's have a go on the nose. Yeah. Mmm, fruity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fruity, but you say but it's like. But what fruit is it? Cause yeah. Because I'm getting again, I'm getting cherry. I'm trying to steer away, I'm trying to get something else. But I always get cherry, no matter what the wine. Oh, Even cherry? champagne, I get cherry. <laughs> I can believe it, John. I can believe it. But there is that, that uh, eucalyptus smell is in there again. That there's, some, there's something else in there as well. It smells delicious. Yeah, it absolutely. does smell delicious. Ooh. Yeah. It's just trying to find out what what it, which it's, ones in there. It's, it's quite it's quite reserved. It's like in the medium. It's not sort of totally shut down, but it's not giving it up very easily. No. Ooh, a little stir around there. A little, a little swirl around. Got a little bit more more of the kind of um. Red hey, yeah, yeah. It makes it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You brought a lot out, didn't that? That does make a big difference, doesn't it? It does. It's all. Mm. That, that tobacco smells there again. That is, that's in there. No, I'm not getting that this time. Oh, it's... You reckon you can... Is it there? It's got such well, that's, a... Uh, that's such a bit, so much. His nose is so more delicate than mine. That and that a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, I, we could spend a lot of time smelling this. Yeah. Shall we have that? That would be very boring for you. So let's yeah, see... <laughs> We'll, we'll have a taste. Yeah. Mmm. The taste is much fuller than the uh, nose, isn't it? Yeah. It's much more there, much more go to go at. Yeah. There's a definite in your faceness with that one. Be beautiful, rich, straight over your tongue. All that flavour. But then the tannins kind of follow it. Nice, not over the top tannins, but. Then, then it kind of stops for me. There's not a lot. Well, mine's still going. Um, mm. Yeah, not not strong, as to be said, but it's not just. You know, sometimes they immediately die. So I got sort of loads of fruit, tanning, cutting a little bit, and then and that's very, and then that sort of died down quite nicely. And then I've got this sort of like, yeah, I can just, I'm just trying to think. Maybe a little bit of blackcurrant, even I can taste at the moment. Mm. I, I must admit, it's kind of. I'm licking my lips, and that is when I taste the Cabernet Sauvignon, that's what I want. And that is making me go, mmm, mmm, mm. You made me lick my lips then. Mm. I thought, yeah. what am I missing? <laughs> it's not, no, it's not there, but it just makes me go, mmm, mmm, mm. So it's got that going on. I, after a while, I said it just disappeared, but then it leaves with a bit of black currant Yeah. I'm getting that kind of black currant, but not a lot more. But then again, do I want much more from a Cabernet Sauvignon? Well, you can be quite demanding, John. I'm just trying the wine, just trying the wine, is all, is all I'm doing. And all, all around though, that's a, that's a nice bit of Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, and I wonder, you, I just wonder whether that sort of that tanny bit, if you were actually, you know, maybe eating a little bit of meat, a sort of uh, beef maybe, a joint of beef, and you just had that, and then the, uh, this, I, I imagine that you wouldn't even notice the tanning then. No, that, 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 the meat would take the tanning straight off there, and then you probably would pull a little bit more from, from the fruit there. Um, but no, I, I, I'd enjoy that. I'd definitely enjoy that. 
I am enjoying it. Yes, yeah, so am I. Yeah, so, I mean, this is the safe from the, from the, I can't recall the, the price, excuse me. But um, yeah, it's from the Taste the Difference. So I'm guessing their range price is, it's sort of like from the seven pounds to I nine pounds. around that, they? Yeah, around that sort of price. So it's, it's not an extravagant wine, it's not an expensive wine. Um, so, you know, taking the price into account, it's very, it's very good value. I think it's from Chile as well, this one, isn't it? Oh, uh, it is, yeah. Yeah, so, and, and normally Chilean wines are, are exceptionally good valued. Uh, as I'm drinking it more, John, I mean, I'm embracing it more. If you know what I mean, I'm just coming to terms a little bit, a little bit of coming out there nicely. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying that. Hmm. You're right. The more you drink it, the more it seems to give up. Yeah, it's kind of, it's softening on the tannins because you've, you've dealt with those already. Yeah. So now you're kind of picking out more on, on the fruits of like, mmm, where, where's that going? Mm, yeah, nice, nice, nice. So we've mentioned beef. Is there anything else you'd say with this? Well, it's quite a full on one, that, isn't it? Mmm. Because the first thing I'm thinking, would lamb, would it take lamb? But I don't think, I think lamb's quite a deli. It's a different flavour, isn't it? So, no, I'd say kind of more grilled meats, the barbecue style, that kind of thing. Mm. I mean, Cab Cabernet Sauvignon is such a, you know, it's such a well-known, you know, a lot of people buy Cabernet is, Sauvignon, yeah. so it's so well-known. It is surprising, though, to me, how different uh, different Cabernet Sauvignons from around the world taste. I mean, would you say this is a typical taste for Cabernet Sauvignon? I would. I would. Um, it, it is fairly, you would recognise it as Cabernet Sauvignon, but I think perhaps Cabernet Sauvignon from Australia I would prefer because the Cabernet Sauvignons from Australia, I think, a little bit more fruit driven. And when I, when I talk of Cabernet Sauvignon, I do like that fruitiness. I do like that jamminess. I like a little bit more of the kind of red red berry flavour and that juiciness in there. Um, not that there's anything wrong with this, but um, I think um, an Australian Cabernet Sauvignon. But am I wrong in saying that a Cabernet Sauvignon from Australia is like to be more expensive than a Cabernet Sauvignon from Chile? Um, yes, yes, you are. Okay, uh, so I'm I'm just getting where I'm leaning towards. Okay, no, no, no. I mean th there are exceptions to every rule, are they not? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, camps out from from Australia would not all the time again, but would generally would be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is a very nice wine. Absolutely no, I, I think the price is. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. You. Yeah, it is very good value. No complaints with that. So mm. let's, let's just do a score on it. Why don't we do a score on it? Okay. Do you want me to go first? Oh, well, I don't mind going first. I've already got my number. So, so have I? Okay, we'll go first then. Well, my number would be, it's a nice bit of Cabernet Sauvignon, you know, assuming the price, um, mm, a bit too early away with tann tannins for me, so I'm going to go up fairly high with a 78. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I was going to go with an 80. It's not too far off. Not too far off at all, no. No, 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 no. no. I mean, I think, again, it's one of those wines that probably if you had it with uh, some, some, you know, some beef or some food, and you'd actually may well, because of it pairing, you may more actually sort of rate it higher. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, talking about it for just drinking on its own without food, yeah, I'd go, I'd go 80. Very reasonable, nice, nice glass of wine, no complaints at all. Fantastic. Okay, so. Um, thank you very much for watching this. If you'd like to see another one, don't forget to subscribe. If you did like this one, please put the, uh, click the thumbs up. And if you want to make sure that you're notified whenever we produce a video, click the little bell and you'll make sure you'll get notified as soon as we release our next video. So until then, chin chin. Chin chin.